Hey, and welcome to a super quick Thursday thought because uh, like everybody, it's half term. So there's a massive balance going on with family visiting and poorly boy and uh, cooking <laughs> and orders um, and Thursday thought and that is today. So I know everyone's really keen and interested in, in Zoe. Uh, believe you me, no matter how keen you are and interested in, in as much as I am because uh, having had a blood sugar monitor on for a week, it is very, very, very easy um, to become obsessed. Um, and I suppose that's a little bit of uh, my Thursday thought today um, because all the stuff that Zoe is getting me to do, so we did a control test to start with, which were muffins that everybody gets to eat, which have lots of different things in them. Um, but of course, they're muffins and one of the ingredients is sugar. And because I don't eat a lot of sugar, you can imagine that spiked my blood sugar. Um, no surprise there. Um, likewise, we're doing another test at the moment where we had to have um, a carbohydrate rich food for a day. Uh, and then the next day it was a fat rich food for a day. And then the third day is combining those foods. And it's no surprise that on the carbohydrate day, starting that day with just oats made in water, um, I didn't feel anywhere near as full as I did on the day where I just had a spoonful of almond butter for breakfast. And I certainly didn't feel as good as I feel today where I've been able to combine the two. And, um, you know, my, my blood sugar um, throughout the whole process is staying really, really, really stable. There's a range of um, four to seven, uh, or it might be four to nine, but mine is generally between four and seven every day. Um, whereas a lot of the processed foods of today really spike you above that and then of course cause you to crash below that but it's, it's no surprise that the, the, the food I eat and the way I eat although I am testing it with a few bits and bats and um, does just generally stay in, 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 that, in that curve so or that little parameter so that's really really positive to know that um, what I already knew in my heart and through my cooking and through my experience is actually being reflected in my blood sugar um, it'll be interesting to see what the fat tests come back like because you have to do a load of tests at the start as well. A poop test, as I said last week, and a blood test. So one measures, um, you know, your gut microbes and one measures your um, your ability to how quickly you, you, you process fat in your body. Um, so, yeah. So that's where we're at at the moment. I'm just going about to go have some lunch uh, with my boys, try and force a bit of food down Dylan to make him feel a bit perkier, bless him. Um, I didn't want to be missing this glorious half term, does he? Uh, I suppose that's what it's about, really, half term, isn't it? It's, it's a real big juggle for every one of us. But I wanted to give you a bit of an update. And I suppose we can title today's Trust in Your Body. <laughs> And if you listen to your body, it tells you all this stuff anyway. I didn't need to be checking my blood sugar monitor um, every five minutes to uh, to do it. But we do. These trackers, are they good? Are they bad? You know? But anyway, uh, mine is just confirming what my body tells me every day because I do take time to listen to it. Um, so I hope everyone's well, enjoying this beautiful weather, and uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Happy Thursday.